high later today. And but there's the high wind warning and a high wind yeah. advisory. Also, they should be over by about 5 o'clock this afternoon. Mm -hmm. So all the warnings, watches, and advisories should be done by 5. Uh, that is the plan mm -hmm. as of now. Um, Eric Spillman, so what we're looking at here is the, the, uh, the valley side, if you will. So Lake Sherwood and, and uh, Hidden Valley, Newberry Park, it, that's this side of the, the Santa Monica Mountains that we're seeing. If you look toward the direction of the smoke, it's, it's in the direction of Malibu and uh, Point Magoo and, and those areas. Uh, Eric is standing in Paradise Cove in Malibu, and I'm just wondering, Eric, are you seeing anything on your side? Well, people did see some of the smoke uh, on this side. We can't see it from here, because, well, maybe a little tiny bit, but it's kind of over that bluff from where we are. But uh, people have been asking about it, wondering what it is. Of course, they're very concerned. They feel like they've been through enough. They don't want to have to go through it again. But let me show you a little bit what's going on here, because it's, it's kind of unique. We're in uh, Paradise Cove here, and there is a supply mission taking place. You see that boat off the coast there? That is being unloaded with things like gasoline and water and food onto uh, jet skis and little dinghies and skiffs, and they're bringing that material to the beach here. And this is for the people who've stayed behind. They didn't evacuate. They, they didn't leave the Malibu area, and this is how they're getting the supplies that they need. Tim Morris is over here. He works with uh, Paradise Cove. Good morning to you. Good morning. Thanks for having us. What's, what's happening here? So uh, Paradise Cove, just because we are the protected area right here from the swell and everything like that, we've become kind of uh, one of the main arteries of supply into Malibu. Um, so we've got uh, supplies coming in by boat here. Um, Let's show some pictures of that. I mean, you, they we're unloading gas cans and things like that. Yeah, gas cans, food, water, pet food, things like that, just staples, that th things people need that have stayed behind uh, just to make sure that we can all stay, uh, you know, alive basically now because yeah. once you leave you can't come back and there's no power there's no there's no water there's no food here or not as much you're running no cell service yeah there's very little cell service um there's the no stores are closed yeah everything's closed here um we do have a generator going for the restaurant to keep a uh, power going and we let people in and watch tv thing charge their cell phones and charge their uh, electric cars and things like that here um but uh yeah malibu's shut down very hard um they're very worried about people looting so they're they're very careful about who they're letting in and move around freely around malibu we drove around point doom and you you have many many homes that were damaged in this area more than i think they they've even been able to count let's show some pictures of what that drive looked like yeah point doom got hit very hard all of north malibu got hit very hard all past um <clears throat> everything north of Heferdine has just been been hit very very hard um uh, we managed here to get our hands on some fire hoses and uh, we were able to stop the fire at paradise cove um but uh just north of us here at point doom they're, they're just absolutely decimated it's just house countless homes have been destroyed there's people who are concerned about looters in fact we have another a picture to show of a, of a resident who didn't evacuate he stayed behind and he's out in front of his apartment complex holding a rifle in his hand because he's heard stories about root, uh, looters yeah i believe uh, over there they actually did catch some looters last night so people are people are just doing what they have to do to make sure that their thing's been protected you know uh um, on friday night they were firefighters and now they're acting as security it's just people here in malibu you know uh we do things kind of our, our own way. We don't leave if things go bad because, you know, it's our homes, it's our families, it's our friends that we here, we're here to protect. And so we just, we're doing what we have to do to make sure everything stays safe. Have you heard about people actually getting arrested here or, or coming in by boat too? We've heard looters have come in by boat. Um, I heard looters have, have been coming in by boat. That's why people have been a little nervous about uh, bringing in supplies that way because they thought that, you know, maybe there'd be some confusion, but we didn't manage to clear that up. So if you are bringing in supplies by boat, Paradise Cove is open. Uh, I spoke to the director of public safety from Malibu through my dad. Um, who's uh, kind of puppeteering things from uh, back on the other side of the roadblock. And uh, Paradise Cove is a safe place to drop off supplies, and we're working on getting some better logistics for getting things on shore here as well. Tim, thanks so much for talking. And as we watch uh, the supply mission, now there's another boat that showed up. There are actually three of them out there, and they're just bringing in stuff and loading them onto jet skis and other dinghies and skiffs and bringing them onto the shore, and folks here are unloading it and getting it to the people here who stayed behind who need those materials. So that's the latest from Paradise Cove in Malibu. We'll send it back to you.